Hello, do you like playing retro games? Do you want to play games like Super Mario World like this? Or would you like to play, would you like Mortal Kombat? How about Super Mario Kart? Well, in this video, I will show you. All you need is an Android phone to play it on your phone, a Fire Stick if you want it on the Fire Stick, and if you don't want to use the controller, then a Bluetooth controller, like a PS4 controller or an Xbox controller. I have this controller. So you can get one of them if you want. So any control that has Bluetooth would be better. So let's get started in this video. So first of all, let's get into um, putting it on your phone. I am on the Fire Stick here, but what I do on the Fire Stick, exactly the same on your phone. So first of all, you need RetroArch. You can search for that in the search bar and download it and ES File Explorer File Manager. Same again, you can just search for that in the um, the search bit or on the play store um if the es file explorer isn't there then you can obviously get some other file transferring apps or something like that so first of all download uh retro watch get into it like i say this is on the, i'm doing this on the fire stick but what i'm showing you do exactly the same on your phone so then you need to load a core the core is like your simulator of your um of the console that you want so you download a core go to download you won't have these ones these are what i've already put on so download a core and then it brings up everything that you need so arcade atari there commodore uh you've got all the others nec there you've got nintendo game boy so just find the one you want so i like the snes so i just downloaded one of the SNES ones and I also like the um I find this one's the best one. So you download that one and then also the Nintendo I've got on mine. But like I say, it's up to you what you want. The Sega Mega Drive on there and everything. Up to Google, we put ROMs and it's the first one wrong game. So on here you've got all the different kind of consoles you want. So Super Nintendo's there. This is the one we're gonna do, so I'll click on that. So all the different games on there search the games that you want or you just click so i'm going to click donkey kong so you go on it you save the game and if you look it says downloading starting and if you look near the top now it comes up there download file details and then that should say open now there we go that says open and now we are in es explore file so we're going to click internal storage onto download and we see Donkey Kong. So it's a long press now on Donkey Kong. And then you copy the file at the bottom left. And then we go out of here. We find RetroArch, click on there, go on to downloads. And then you paste from the bottom left as well. And there you see it's successfully gone on. Now what we do, we come out of this back into RetroArch. So we've got our, low, our core loaded already. So we're going to content. We go on to downloads and we find the game that we've just put on so donkey kong and you load archive and there you go it's as simple as that so as you can see me tapping on the screen now that they're the buttons so this this is on the full screen so even though it looks small on here now it is actually a full screen on my phone and as you can see i'm just controlling it with the controls that are on the um on the phone it's been that long since I played Donkey Kong, can't remember the uh, the actual uh, controls. But yeah, so that's how you do it on your phone. And then, like I say, you can download any one you want, Any put any core on it. So you can put a Sega Mega Drive core on it. That is how you put it on your phone. Now I will show you how to put it on the Fire Stick. So first of all, you need to download RetroArch and the ES or some sort of file transfer. Into ES File Explorer first, this is your file transfer uh, manager. So into there. Well, when we go into ES or your file transfer, we need to connect the phone, what we've got the data on, to the Fire Stick. So the way I do it is I go into network and Bluetooth. 
now at this point we need to open up the same on your phone, mobile phone and you need to allow um them to talk to each other so you need you want allow permission to get the files from your phone so now we've opened up the um the es file on the huawei p30 pro we've allowed um access for the fire stick so you click on that and it comes up then you go to downloads you see donkey kong there so it's a long press on the middle button long press you get that you go to copy at the very bottom you copy that then what we need to do we need to go back to the fire stick settings so that's local home internal storage find retro arch which is there you go into downloads and then you paste it then we should have the screen come up yet yeah? i'll just fast forward this it only takes two minutes So there you go it's successfully downloaded so what we need to do there that's all done you just press the home button on the uh, remote so then what we need to do we need to go into retro arch we've already got our core loaded from before so it's load content downloads then we find it donkey kong country there you load the archive i've got two snezzes here that one it wasn't the best so i downloaded this one which was better you shouldn't normally have to choose that if you choose just one Here we go. So you can control the game with the um, the controller. If I'm just using the controller here. But as you can see, I'm just. That's the remote control for the game. As you can see, look, that's left, right, up, jump. So you don't actually, if you don't want a controller, you can just play with the, uh, the actual controller. But the control, not all the controls are on here. Oh. That's how we play. Now I'll show you how to connect a PS4 controller with uh, the Fire Stick. In settings, obviously you want to go over to Remote and Bluetooth devices or devices. Right, so I I don't click onto the game controller at the moment. So let's get our PS4 controller. Yeah. So what you want to do, the share button, that one, and the home button which is the playstation and you need to press them together so this light goes like this so press them together one two three four all right so it's flashing now now I, that's when i press game controllers and there it is wireless controller straight away it's connected there you see so that now is my ps4 controller button back onto retro watch take us straight back to donkey kong really i think right and then well now i'm controlling donkey kong with my ps4 controller so it's as simple as that I, i've not tried it with the uh, xbox controller but i know that you can do it so you just need to know how to um, Put your controller into Bluetooth mode and then just follow the steps that we did. But I think um, that 
that's it. No. So yeah, that's how you get retro games on your Fire Stick or on your phone. I hope that's helped. If there's anything you're unsure with or you can't understand, please leave me a comment. I will try and do another video on that. Um, but for then, this has been Milster 111. Hope you enjoy your new games, and I'll see you then.